See if I can make a quick video documenting um, real quick. I'll pause. So basically I took off the um, elevation and windage knobs. Those uh, just popped off. Then I unscrewed mm, a good way out until the ball detents. Uh, I didn't hear click anymore. Then I unscrewed uh, this whole, not the zoom, le uh, the zoom lens, the reticle, but this whole uh, zoom assembly. Um, actually, uh, after I removed this uh, it's a illuminator, um, which I found the wires, either I broke them or they, because I probably should have removed this first, my fault, um, or they were already broken. Um, so I'll pause and start disassembling, but um, also then this screw comes out for the magnification. Okay, so I uh, removed the three little screws that are on the perimeter holding the erector tube in, or at least this section of the erector tube, um, the stationary um, part. Um, and I removed this screw that was seating the adjust the magnification dial into the little slot there of the erector tube uh, cam I think this is this is like a cam um, and then I noticed maybe that is Loctite that white stuff I'm not sure I've only seen that there and again um, I had tested oh, I didn't know I tested the wires I tested the illumination with the um, 2032 battery and I didn't see any effects. So it looks like there's uh, one of the settings is without a resistor. Hopefully I didn't fry anything there, but I don't know, maybe some other issues. I didn't desolder or resolder to check and see. Um, I took this um, locking, um, I guess, uh, nut off prior, which were the objective. Uh, lens uh, is positioned to lock that position in um, once that's all tuned, uh, adjusted. And I think it's easier just to leave the objective lens in disassembling for now. Well, at least eyeballing it. That's probably not going to be with a camera. Oh, shucks. I was hoping it would be. They'll see that mechanism. Kind of can see that quarter slot a tube that I think is either one or two seems like two lenses um, behind or closer to me between the objective and me on um, that spring where that cam lock slides into I'm going to try to get a light and a pause see if I can see that okay I think that works it looks like that. Yeah, okay. So you can see what um, I can't quite, maybe you can make out the end of the uh, zoom parallax knob um, crank pin in the slot of the end of that slide mechanism about eighth inch. To, uh, uh, a s section of uh, inside diameter of the tube, tube, uh OD section. Oh, come on. Oh, now it's not going to show. Oh, it's not going to zoom so well. Let's see if it'll zoom. There it is. And the bottom part of that slot broke. So that's kind of like the upper le left hand side of a capital T. Um, or uh, L kind of, I guess, imagination, <laughs> uh, rotated 180 degrees. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's what that mechanism looks like for now. I'm a little skeptical. I'm uh, really confident I should pull that all the way out. Uh, I don't know if there's something in there stopping it. I don't see a ring on the other side. I guess I don't have the objective lens out right now. Because I had reassembled just to see everything tuned once I got that. Uh, crank um, pin uh, connected with that uh, slot in the slide mechanism and I think that got it um, 
pretty close at least, not not probably the best. But uh, yeah, the upside down nine nine. Oh, that actually is not cool looking at. But yeah, the uh, hopefully it's not cursed. It should be okay. I think in some cultures, I'm not going with all that cult ritualistic ceremony crap. But for nine ninety nine, well, technically it was half off. So half that price, uh, you know, whatever that is for four ninety eight. Um, scope you can't go wrong. And I got the, uh, let's see, I have the reticles all together. I think I need to get new nylon washers. Seems, seems a little loose. Might be this uh, wave spring down here. It popped back in the little, it's not really much for a clip in that groove and the little rubber washer in between. Um, that maybe could be replaced to be a little stiffer. But, um, yeah, seems to be, seems to be, you know, need some adjustment, but, um, and then maybe that spring too. I don't know how I can get another spring in there to do a upgrade, uh, but, um, hmm. Might be, now I'd be pushing down. I don't know, there might be a little more, uh, yeah, that sliding mechanism is going to be challenging. So, we'll have to see. Plenty of other projects. To work on go okay, well, moving forward a little bit with an actual injector molded uh, it says cheap 3d printed Bauer 20 volt battery to DeWalt 20 volt tool adapter I'm gonna transfer the resistor and the uh, power uh, yeah uh, solid state little transistor looking at it. it's a voltage regulator 12 volt 7 8 12 something like that into here and then um, that'll be more solid I just poured the form and on that for all the clip i probably should split this up into two videos but i don't know i'm kind of excited i've not worked on um you know i've worked on plenty of microscopes but uh a few at least but never uh disassembling and working on a, a rifle scope or well, this will be a air hair gun uh, scope i guess we'll see okay uh be safe healthy until next time learn 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 and save 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 and uh Keep stuff out of the trash bin if you can help it. It's such a waste. And that's not going to mulch real well either. Alrighty. Bye for now.